Hello and welcome back to the Dundee YouTube channel. Today we're joined by Bob Flavin and we've been set a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Spirit Motors Ford Store, well, they've delivered us two stunning Ford Rangers. And today we're gonna kind of compare them and see some of the differences. Yeah, this is the Ranger Raptor. So this is this is a two liter diesel, 10 speed box, and it has Fox suspension underneath. So it has a special kind of suspension that allows you to kind of go boing, boing along the road. Very comfortable, very nice. And yours, well, not yours, but I wish this one mine. is. <laughs> this is the Wild Track. So it's based off the average Ranger, but it's got a nice little bit of kit. Now, the advantages of this is it can tow a lot more and I guess the drawbacks are maybe that the suspension is not as comfortable. Mm. It also doesn't have the presence that yeah. the Raptor has. But that said, this particular one's got a nice little additional kit. So this has got a front visor, bigger wheels, and a yeah. lot of bells and whistles. Those really... wheels are cool. Yeah. And you can't change the wheels on this. There isn't an option of it's wheels. one option. So yeah. that, those wheels you can change and make different wheels on. So prices for these <laughs> start at about 55K and they kind of stay at around they 55K. Are new, yeah. This is all in though. This one is bought looking like this in this paint scheme, the whole lot at the price we're talking about. So Whereas this, enough. the single cab version, I think that starts at about 31,000 euros. The wild track then is 47K and you can actually spec that up more or less similarly enough price to, to the Raptor. So they're very similar. And today, Bob and I are gonna take them for a drive. We're standing next to these ones, but we I still know, haven't yeah. decided <laughs> who's driving what. I like the look of that one, but I like the presence of this one. This got a wider track, it looks meaner, it looks, and it has the big scuff plates underneath and stuff, so. Do you know what this is? To me, this is probably the one I'd buy because I don't really have the usage of a 4x4 in a pickup truck. Mm. So it looks cool. It's obviously got the nicer suspension, but then this is probably more practical. It's not as big, the girth isn't yeah. as much. And of that course, tows a lot it tows back. a lot more. That's three and three, a half thousand Three and a half kilos. tons, yeah. So three thousand, this one's a half that. Really. It's nearly, I think it's two and a half tons or something yeah, like that. That's the suspension that does that. And also takes a less payload, 650 kgs in the back of this. Yeah, whereas I think it's 1100 in the back of this. So this probably is a little bit more a little bit more hardcore actual four-wheel drive, but it this does have that same. Toy. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I take either or. Anyway, you're watching Done Deal. If you'd like to search for cars for sale in Ireland, hit the link up there, and we're gonna get straight into the review. He's so much lighter than I am. <laughs> Thankfully, this is the soft I can do that, though. Look, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> I tell you what, though, this is nice for a cup, but someone brought their cup. They used it to transport a cup and it didn't go so well. No. Didn't However, be drifting this morning either, didn't happen. From the rear, obviously tow bar on each of them. This one isn't connected up. This one has its own tow bar in the back of it already and electric connection ready to go. They've got locking tailgates, each one of them have. Uh, this one though has an electric uh, cover over the top of it. This one doesn't. No, that one's really hard to open. We actually can't figure out how to no. open that one with the key. But so. this one is just a push of a button in here and it opens. So it all slides back and you can do that with this in place and with the, with the roof bars in place. These uh, bars in place, which is kind of cool. Very, very, very cool. Now what would happen if you were to lock it? Stick your arm in, see okay. what happens. We're going to close and see what Justin happens. Bob. This could be good. Or this could be, be death. I'm actually going to go here just in case. Just <laughs> It's not doing it. <laughs> You said it was. You should have kept the arm in, see what happens. Okay, go. I'm going to put my arm in. One cool thing about this is it does actually open on the key as well. I don't know yeah, if it's on the key. That. There's also yeah. a button inside. I'm just clicking that and close it. Bob's a madman. There it goes. <laughs> I thought for one millisecond my arm was going to be lost there. But a it does do it concern in his face. If there's something in it's fine. Now, to be fair, in terms of practicality, other than the electric kind of recliner there, it does have the same capacity. Yeah, uh, size of pallet. You get a pallet in there, you get a Euro pallet in that. You might even get two with the tailgate open because you put a Euro pallet on the back of it, but this one carries substantially more than that one yeah. in terms of weight of what you put in the tailgate. And this Not far off double. Yeah, about double. Uh, so this pallet of bricks, no big deal. Get in the back of that. This one, you're going to have to think about what you're towing on the back of it because of the pallet of bricks would be the full weight of it. Yeah, brilliant. Well, why don't I take everyone through the rear space talk about can you bring your kids in and all that and then you can run through the cockpit because on the inside they are virtually very very similar yeah different dash different dash. okay so rear space before we even get to that 
One actually very handy thing is there's ice fix points. So if you do buy this car through your business or it's your work vehicle, you can still take the kids to school. But not only that, but getting the child seat in is quite a bit easier because you don't really have to bend down. It's actually very, very practical in that sense. Now, climbing in yourself, this kind of steel or some sort of strong metal here anyway, these sidebars are really sturdy, really, really good thunk out of them. And when you sit in, to be fair, it's relatively comfortable in here. You've loads of knee room, really decent head room as well. The seat's quite comfortable. I will say maybe the back is a little bit kind of too upright, but beggars can't be choosers. You do have an armrest here with two drink holders. Down here you've got 12 volt socket, but you've also got a three pin socket, which means you can plug in a laptop or whatever it might be. So actually, in terms of functionality from a day-to-day -day car point of view, it is really, really good. So it's a commercial vehicle, but full five seats, which is fantastic. So the main difference between these two cars is actually up here in the front. This one has, of course, Wildtrak written on the other as Raptor, but there's different patterns on the dashboard. You get threads in this one. It follows the color scheme of the car. Same with the seats here as well. You get Wildtrak seats in this. But other than that, you get a 10-speed box, same as you do in the other one. Same steering wheel and same sort of handbrake setup. Some of the infotainment system will be slightly different and the dashboard layout in here is different as well. That's actually changeable in the wild track version. The Raptor is a finished product, so there's not many options to go through in the Raptor, but you can actually go through a ton of options here with the wild track version of it. Both very, very comfortable. I would give comfort wise for the Raptor maybe 8 out of 10, this one 7 out of 10 as normal daily cars, but for work vehicles, they're both 10 out of 10, really. It's time to drive, Bob. It is. Which one are you driving? Well, I think we should do rock, paper, scissors, but my question is, how do we decide what the winner gets? Winner gets the Raptor. Winner gets the Raptor. Okay, right. best out of three or? Best, yeah, best out of three. Okay, okay ready? This could take a while, this could take a while. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves, because this could go about to be wrong. Rock, paper, scissors. Right. Uh, who won that now? No, it's paper, I paper. It's paper. You did rock there, no? I did paper. On. He's cheating. <laughs> Action replay. Go again, go. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. You win I mean, that one. That's one. One nil, everybody. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. You win again? Two nil. You... Okay, so you drive the mine. Ranger. And the Raptor, sorry. I'll fine, I'll get in the wild track. It's mine. So this Ford Ranger Raptor is different from the Ford Ranger Wildtrak or Ford Wildtrak or whatever you want to call them. They're all different because this one has very different suspension. This one's run on a suspension that's made by a company called Fox in the US. Uh, and that suspension does a race called Baja, which is across sand and dunes, and it's made to jump. So you're actually made to jump things as well. When I originally tested this car, it was in Morocco, and we drove across the Northern Sahara Desert. We did that exact thing, the jumps. Uh, and there's no different here when I go back to Ireland. The car still rides really well on the road. Now, it does come with off-road, knobbly-looking tires, which are pretty good. They don't offer a lot of grip because on the back of these, there's no weight over the rear wheel. So either one of them will kind of drift in corners if you turn off the traction control and have a little wet road. You can have a bit of fun, but it is quite scary when it does it and you're not expecting it. Now this will tow, but not to the same level as the wild track. So uh, the engines are two liter diesel. That's all you get these days. I do miss that 3.2 they used to have, which is a big torquey engine. They both have a 10 speed box. Um, and it does wander up and down through the gears. You can probably hear it there every once in a while going up and down and up and down, changing gears. Sometimes that noise does get a little bit annoying, but for the most part, it's an easy car to drive, easy car to understand. If you're looking for something nippy, these cars aren't it, uh, because they're even going at 60 kilometers on the road at this, you feel like you're flying along. And the faster you go, the more sort of scary it all gets, because all the weight of these is up the front, there's not much down the back and in two wheel high it's a rear wheel drive in four wheel high obviously it's four wheel drive and then you got four low as well on the system no doubt these cars will go anywhere particularly this one it is more designed to be off-road than on uh, but both cars are quite comfortable but my comfort level and stuff goes with this one i love these raptors they're just an amazing vehicle and they can go anywhere
So to drive the wall track, well, it's got an identical engine. It's a two liter, it's bi-turbo, 213 brake horsepower, four wheel drive. And as far as driving, it's actually very similar to the Raptor. However, the only difference you'll notice is it's a little bit shakier in here. The suspension, it's not as smooth. This is genuinely built for people who are putting it to work. And that's kind of an interesting thing because this having almost an extra ton of towing capacity, you'd think, oh, it must have a bigger engine or some different setup, but it really doesn't. Now, as far as driving these day to day, they actually have all your creature comforts. It has a big screen here, which is Apple CarPlay and Android uh, connectivity. It works really, really smoothly. The seating position is lovely. It's got heated seats, your climate control. It's a normal day-to-day -day car. As we said earlier, you can fit the kids in the back. All your creature comforts, they're all here. Now, in terms of going off-road, obviously we're not gonna be doing that today, unfortunately. However, Bob has actually driven the Raptor in Morocco and he said it was absolutely brilliant but you do have a few different modes here so you've two high and four high and what that means is that's two wheel drive four wheel drive and then you can also put the gearbox in a low range mode and also it be four wheel drive and then you can lock up the differentials so that the wheels spin at the same time which makes it better off road as you're driving kind of up hills and on these mountainy roads what you do really notice is that 10 speed, whilst that's glorious for obviously being more efficient, and when you're going onto motorways, it is really, really nice, but around here, it kind of struggles to pick what gear it should be in. If I put my foot down, it drops a gear, then it drops a second gear, then it's up a gear. It's a little bit all over the place. However, if you're driving around town, it's a lot more enjoyable. Um, but as I was saying, I actually forgot to mention this a minute ago, it's very user-friendly day-to-day. This particular one has lane assist. So if you're on the motorway, it's gonna keep you in lane. So I think where definitely the Raptor and also the Wild Track, if you've got some sort of business where you need to carry tools and need to be tucked away safely, or if you've got a landscaping business or whatever it is that your business is, this is a good all-rounder because you can put it through the books you can really bring the kids to school. It's, it is really, really a good day-to-day -day car and it's very comfortable. The seats are really nice. It's very spacious. As a whole, I'm a big, big fan. What was it like to drive, Bob? This is smoother than a limousine on the road. Smoother than a limousine? Like it's just, for such a massive car, you can't feel anything on the road. I know, I've actually driven one of those before and I don't think the suspension's as smooth as this. I think it's a little bit more, Yeah. it's just a bit more agricultural. I yeah, it's say. a bit stiffer, it's a bit harder to drive it. Now that said, tomorrow, I'll give you the budget. You've got, you can, you know, you can get whatever one you want. What do you buy? Do you buy the Raptor or the Wild Track? See, I know this is more expensive than that, but this has the better suspension, it has a nicer interior, I think, and I think it's just nicer to drive and own. Even in this 10-speed automatic, I, I kind of like that automatic one as well. This one just feels a little, I love the look of it, it's brilliant, and you can change that look as well, lots of options on it, but I just think my heart goes with this one here. Really? The Raptor. Ironically enough, and I'm not saying this because we're on camera, genuinely I'd buy this one. And the reason being is because I feel like with that, there's always going to be in the back of your mind that you don't have the maximum towing capacity. Whether you use it or not, that's different, but also that is a big thing and the look of it, I think it looks really, really good. And I've seen it with that kind of really nice Ford grill that you've got mm. on there, and it does look brilliant. It's a shame that the 3.2 liter, 3 liter engine isn't available, because yeah. that would have made this a clear, clear winner. I love that you can spec this one to how you want it. Like you can really make this look yeah. extraordinary. Now some of them go over the top, but you can you can make it look extraordinary. Whereas this one is just kind of stuck the way it is, but it's just I suspension mean, and driving and it's ability. Not stuck the way it is. No. It's, it's certainly one of the best pickup trucks. It looks dead. Going around, well, thank you very much, Bob, for helping us no bother. figure this out. Thank you to you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. Also check out Bob's channel. And if you'd like to search for Ford's for sale in Ireland, hit the link up there. We've got over 1,000 trusted dealerships nationwide. Thanks so much for watching. And now let's go for one more drive. Spin. See Wouldn't it be class if we could just go fully off road them there? Wouldn't it, yeah. Just up that way. Just straight up. <laughs> straight up through the forest. <laughs> if only they'd let us.